Hello and welcome to Moorhead Today. I'm Gary Cornett and today is Tuesday, October 25th, 2011. Moorhead Today brings you local news and events and we spotlight local artists and musicians. You can contact Moorhead Today at moorheadtoday at gmail.com and you can view our show at youtube.com slash moorheadtoday. Please check out all of the MSU TV programming at moorheadstate.edu slash MSU TV. On today's show, Mike Farr will bring us info on the community quilting project that's been taking place here in Breckenridge's costume shop. Jason McClurg will bring us the story of the costume contest in Claypool Young later this week. Our own playback director, Joe Gray, will stop by to tell us a little about the documentary film work that he's been producing. And James Coleman will come and play a few tunes for us. Everyone stay tuned. Moorhead Today will be right back. Please don't throw that trash on the ground. I know someone is watching me now. Recycle. Welcome back to Moorhead Today. Last week, Michael Farr journeyed down to the costume shop here in Breckenridge to check out the community quilting project. Tell us more about it, Mike. Yeah, Gary, I spoke with uh, Dr. Lisa Morris, who is a teacher of theater here in our department, and uh, she's put together this uh, community quilting project where she has uh, students and uh, volunteers come in and make quilts. And I understand this is uh, in conjunction with the Build-A-Bed project. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think by they're, they're trying to they spread this out. It's been going on for like at least a month now, and uh, they're trying to get at least 70 quilts made, and they're hoping they could get that maybe even exceed that. Sounds pretty good. Let's take a look. All right. The Department of MTD has partnered with the Center for Regional Engagement in a community quilting project for children in need. Students and volunteers can get a great feeling of community and develop their sewing skills. Even those who can't sew will be taught how by those organizing the event. I spoke with Dr. Lisa Morse for more information about the project. My name is Dr. Lisa Morse and I'm an assistant professor of theater at Moorhead State University. And what I've uh, started is a community quilt project and this project is meant to involve students, faculty, and anyone in the community who's interested in making quilts for various charities that we have in the Moorhead area and in Ashland. Those charities include the Two Hearts Pregnancy Care Center, the Hope Pregnancy Care Center, the Moorhead Police, as well as uh, the Build-A-Bed Foundation. So we're attempting to provide quilts, warmth, and comfort to, to those in need. We began this project about, I would say, about a month ago. And um, in the time that we've been doing it, we have cut out about 20 quilts and assembled about 12 of them. And um, we've had volunteers, both from the faculty and the students, come in and help us out. And uh, anyone who's interested in becoming involved in the project can certainly come to the theater costume shop, which is in Breckenridge Hall. And uh, they can come Monday through Fridays between 1 and 6 p.m. and pitch in and help out and cut out quilts and have some fun. What we're trying to do is between now and April 1st, we're attempting to build 70 quilts. And um, if we meet that goal, fantastic. If we exceed that goal, we're totally prepared for that as well but the goal is 70 quilts by April 1st. If people would like to be involved in the quilt project, they just need to call me. My name is Lisa Morris, and my number is 783-2694, or they can just come on by the costume shop any Monday through Friday from 1 to 6 p.m. For more Head Today, this is Michael Farr. Come see us at the new Recreation and Wellness Center. We're open Monday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., Friday, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., and Sunday, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Welcome back to Moorhead Today. Jason McClurg has the story on what's going on in Claypool Young this week. Yeah, Gary. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, they're going to be doing their annual Rocky Horror Picture Show event for Halloween. Uh, it'll start at 6. They have live 
music and refreshments, and they're also going to have a costume contest starting at 7. They're going to offer out uh, gift certificates to the first, second, and third place winners. And then at 7.30, they're going to show the Rocky Horror Picture Show until around 10 o'clock. For more today, I'm Jason McClurg. Do you feel like playing video games? Or surfing the internet? But you need to study? If you're having trouble focusing on what's important, you may suffer from ADHD. Stop by the Cottle Health Clinic located in Alley Young Hall between 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. or call 783-2055 to make an appointment. What's wrong, dude? Second guessing that cheeseburger? Maybe you should take another look at that before you eat it. Don't eat me. Now how could you be thinking of eating that when really you're thinking of a slow-cooked chili-covered geodog with cheese with your selected choice of chips? Wrong. Throw that thing away. Located on the first floor behind the elevator. What about me? costume contest going on. You want to go? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. The Fall 2011 Graduate will be Wednesday and Thursday, October 26th and 27th from 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. in ADUC room 310. During this event, you can take care of all your graduation essentials. Pick up your cap and gown, order your official MSU ring, this is the last chance for 2011 graduates, order your personalized graduation announcements, purchase your diploma frame, all frames are 20% off during this event, stop by the graduate studies table to learn about programs and admission requirements, Visit with MSU Alumni Association to update your information before leaving campus. Meet with Career Services to find out about employment opportunities and receive career guidance. Sit for a formal graduation portrait. No appointment is necessary and it only takes five minutes. And more. Be sure to come out and make your preparation for graduation easy. Please stay tuned. Morehead Today will be right back. Don't have a breakdown this semester. University Bookstore has all of your on-campus needs and has a lot more than just books for your classes. Let us make your life on campus easier and more enjoyable. We have snacks, DVDs and magazines, and we have all of the gear to show your MSU pride. Plus a lot more. Stop by and see all we have to offer. The best part is, it's located right here on campus on the first floor of Ada, so you don't have to go far. In a 
Veterans Day, or Remembrance Day as it was originally called, occurs on November 11th and Moorhead State University will be participating in the Remembrance Day National Roll Call. The event will be held on 11-11-11, a once in a century date. The objective is to have a nationally synchronized reading of all the names of the Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom casualties with all participating schools observing a pause at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time, to observe a simultaneous moment of silence. The intent is to send a powerful message to the troops who are serving to individually name the fallen. Currently there are 160 colleges and universities from all 50 states that have pledged to participate. Participants are asked to read the names during a 10 minute time period. Interested registrants can sign up online at msucares.volunteerhub.com where they will create a free account and can select a specific hour between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. for each day. Melissa Patrick of the Center for Regional Engagement will contact registrants regarding what specific 10-minute time slot will be assigned to them. Participants will be asked to arrive 15 minutes before their assigned time slot. The Center for Regional Engagement asks that you please consider participating in this effort to recognize those who serve so unselfishly and have given the highest price for their country. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact Jill McBride, Student Veteran Advocate, at the Office of Enrollment Services at 606-783-2000 or j.mcbride at moreheadstate.edu. Morehead Today will be right back. When you get dirty, you need to wash your hands. Left to you half out before you eat. Left to playing in the street. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash your Everybody wash your hands Cause being clean is the way to be yeah. Don't have a breakdown this semester? University Bookstore has all of your on-campus needs and has a lot more than just books for your classes. Let us make your life on campus easier and more enjoyable. We have snacks, DVDs and magazines, and we have all of the gear to show your MSU pride plus a lot more. Stop by and see all we have to offer. The best part is, it's located right here on campus on the first floor of Ada, so you don't have to go far. Welcome back to Moorhead Today. My guest today in the studios is Joe Gray, director of MSU TV's Playback and the director of Moorhead Today. Thanks for coming out here today, Joe. Thanks for having me on the show. Not a problem. So tell us a little about the documentary you just produced. Uh, the documentary is a 25-minute uh, film about the Moorhead and North Fork Railroad. Uh, it's an abandoned railroad in Clearfield, Kentucky, right outside Moorhead. Um, I started working on it last spring, spring of 2011. Got done with it at the end of summer. Uh, it took me seven months, and it's going to be on KET in November. It's, al it's also featured in Visions magazine. Um, I have a half-page little article about it, so I'm pretty excited about that. Sounds pretty good. So what do you plan on working on now? Well, um, I'm doing an internship at the Round County Senior High School, so I'm doing a little short film about uh, the space uh, class, uh, astronomy. They're sending a space balloon up into the upper atmosphere, and then it's going to pop and then come back down. They're going to collect data, so I'm making a little film about that. I'm also trying to find funding to make a documentary about the white nose syndrome that's affecting many of the bats in the nation. Uh, it's a fungus that's killing off all the bats. Um, so if you want to find my documentary, I also have a website that people can visit. It's www.wix.com slash J Gray Media Pro slash Media Pro, so you can watch all my uh, documentaries, my videos, uh, my commercials I've made for Carter Caves and Moorhead State, um, some images I took, and my contact information. Glad to hear you uh, seeing so much success with uh, with your work, Joe, and we can't Thank wait you. to see what else you have to crank out here in the future. Thank you. Not a problem. Everybody, check out Joe Gray's work on KET. Moorhead today. We'll be right back. Do not text or talk on the phone while driving. Do stop at all stop signs and red lights on and off campus. 
Do not back out of a parking spot without looking behind you. Do yield at all crosswalks. And as always, click it or ticket. It. It's the law. Hey man, you're not supposed to be smoking on campus. Don't listen to him, it isn't like anyone's gonna know he's smoking a cigarette. That's a really bad idea. Remember, Moorhead State University is a tobacco-free campus. Welcome back to Moorhead Today. Our musical guest today in the studios is James Coleman, a production student here at MSU and the assistant director of our own program. Thanks for coming out here today. No problem at all, Gary. So where are you from? I'm from Pikeville, Kentucky. And how long have you been playing? I've been playing since sixth grade, so seven years now. Who would you say your biggest musical influences are? Oh, wow. Um, my biggest musical influence would probably be um, David Crowder Band, uh, Toby Mac, uh, Skillet. There's a lot of different, I <laughs> have a wide variety of different people I listen to. Sounds good. So what are you going to play for us today? Um, today I'll be playing two covers, uh, Wonderwall by Oasis and Lips of an Angel by Hinder. Okay, sounds good. Everybody stick around. When we come back, James is going to play a few tunes for us. When you got some homework and you need a place to go When you're working on a project and your computer is slow There's a little place on campus that I think that you should know about The first story of the library is what I'm talking about Walk past Java City and then you will see The new commons area is where you should be They got computers and printers, couches, tables and more It's the perfect place to go for study time galore Moorhead State University's Kentucky Center for Traditional Music houses the fastest growing traditional music program in the world and offers a great opportunity to study bluegrass, old time country, and Celtic music at Moorhead State University. Access a unique archives of traditional music and experience entertaining and educational performances, lecture demonstrations, and workshops. Study and enjoy much more of our mountain musical culture right here at Moorhead State University. What's wrong, dude? Second guessing that cheeseburger? Maybe you should take another look at that before you eat it. Don't eat me. Now how could you be thinking of eating that when really you're thinking of a slow-cooked chili-covered geodog with cheese with your selected choice of chips? Wrong. Throw that thing away. Located on the first floor behind the elevator. What about me? Welcome back to Moorhead Today. I'm James Coleman and I'll be playing a couple songs for you today. The first song I'll be playing is by Hinder. It's called Lips of an Angel. Right now, and honey, why you 
Thirsty, are you gonna depend on a crumpled old dollar? Remind yourself to always bring your Eagle card. Dude, you need the Eagle card. Always keep Beaker Buck loaded onto your Eagle card just in case. It's the fastest way to make all of your on campus purchases. Welcome back to more of today. Again, I'm James Coleman, and this next song I'll be playing is an Oasis song, Wonderwall. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. By now, you should have somehow realized what you gotta do. And I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Backbeat, the word on 
the street that the fire in your heart is out And I'm sure you've heard it all before but you never really had a doubt And I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now And all the roads we have to walk say to you, but I don't know how, because maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me, and after all, you're my wonder. Gonna throw it back to you By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do And I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now And all the roads we have to walk are winding And all the lights that light the way are blinding have sex, have protected sex, but abstinence is the only proven way to prevent STDs and unwanted pregnancies. So you know what you're going to do that? Uh, well, I just had a Ah! Hey guys, there's a Halloween costume contest going on. You want to go? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah! Welcome back to Morehead Today. That's all the time we have for this week. Thank you for watching. We'd like to remind you that you can contact Morehead Today at moreheadtoday at gmail.com and you can view our show at youtube.com slash moreheadtoday. Please check out all of the Morehead State TV programming at moreheadstate.edu slash msutv. Please tune in next week. We'll bring you more info about upcoming music events happening in the Moorhead area. Everyone have a happy and safe Halloween weekend. For everyone here at MSU TV, I'm Gary Cornett, and that's what's happening in Moorhead today.